And now, your local weather authority forecast. Mostly clear skies this morning, unlike the stormy clouds that we saw yesterday and the rainbows and the sunshine, all in kind of one scene from time to time. This is a live look at downtown Odessa. We have a decent look. We've got that infamous camera reflection. We're still before sunrise, about 35 minutes away from that. We're under night vision. We're seeing the black, white, and gray colors. The dark skies indicating pretty much cloud-free skies and satellite and radar showing that. We did have some rain activity yesterday. Now we're not dealing with it. We did see the very scattered rain showers, rumbles of thunder quickly move from northeast, northwest to southeast across our viewing area, now outside of our viewing area. And we're left over with humidity, though, still at the surface despite the dry air a lot. 93% relative humidity right now in Midland and we're sitting at an air temperature of 46 but about 50 miles to the west a drier 61% relative humidity in Wink 37% relative humidity in Pecos. The westerly winds will start to bring that drier air toward the Midland and Odessa area and we're dealing with cooler and drier air in far northern western areas of the basin, but cool and pretty humid air in eastern areas where we're sitting at 46 in Big Spring or humid. We're sitting at 43 in Marfa. We're a little bit drier out there. And we are dealing with those winds from the west, mostly clear skies, 46 at the airport of Midland. So those westerly winds will kick off that kind of low level moisture in far eastern west Texas farther to the east throughout the morning. 93% relative humidity, very stable air aloft. So with the clear skies, light winds, a dry air, a perfect recipe for radiation cooling, that infrared radiation escaping to space, the heat from yesterday escaping to space before that sun rises once again later today. Again, those westerly winds prevalent around 5 to 15 miles per hour from Pecos to Marfa to Alpine, eventually switching more from the north northwest throughout the later parts of the morning, the afternoon, and then switching more from the north and east from 10 to 20 miles per hour. It will be a bit of a breezy day, but nothing that we can't handle. Very sunny. Make sure you guys have the sunglasses. Back into the mid to upper 70s, 76 by 3 p.m. Again, very sunny, very mild, and very breezy out there. We will likely not see any rain throughout the rest of today. 41 in Lubbock, 39 in Amarillo, but we're sitting at 56 right now in Del Rio. Temperatures reaching the 80s in parts of our viewing area and low 90s near our viewing area in Del Rio. 70s from most of the basin today, some 80s, and then cooler in the panhandle of Texas. Mostly clear skies overnight. Not too bad, but overnight in the 50s, winds from the east southeast from 5 to 10 miles per hour. If you're going to be out and about by the town, really good weather, especially if you guys are going to be outside. We are going to be seeing some thin clouds approaching the Trans Pecos overnight to tomorrow morning, but these clouds, despite covering a lot of the basin by tomorrow morning, they won't be producing any rain, but they'll be spelling in a weather pattern change. Again, some clouds tomorrow, 74, 76 Sunday, dry air with westerly winds picking up, picking up dust and lowering visibility from time to time. So the warmest of the next few days will be today, a little bit cooler this weekend, cool and windy early next week, but warm Warmer later next week.